When you're working with files, when you're working with anything where you're going to get input from people, you should typically check to see where likely errors are going to occur. It's bad for a program to just abruptly end and not indicate what went wrong, why it happened. It's very hard to fix or understand what's going on if everything blows up and you don't know why. And you can take controls. Now, normally, if something goes wrong, you will get an error message. But as you've probably seen in debugging your code, the error messages aren't always extremely clear. So I've got this program I'm going to go through uh, where we're going to ring in, read in a series of numbers. These are representing blood sugars. These are blood sugar numbers that if you're a diabetic, you might get. And they should come in. They should be read in. We should strip the new line. And then we should try and convert the number into an int because blood sugar numbers should should be integers. And so here's the file. We've got the file, and the, that would be a low number, but it's still one that you could get. That would be a little high, but these are all numbers that you could get as a diabetic. This one, while 100, is absolutely a valid and pretty good blood sugar for a diabetic. It shouldn't come in in the text format. The way I designed the program, if you pull in data that's not good data, I want to alert the user that this data is bad and show them the bad line of data. Then I want to stop the program. And we do that using this try and catch statement. So I have a try statement here after I try to convert the record that's read in into an integer. So I'm checking to see, is this an integer? Can I convert this? And if it's not, I give a value error because the value error is checking to see if it's the right type of value. And I print this item is not a number. And then I print slash t and record so that it tabs in. You can see this here. This item is not a number. And then I use a break statement. The break statement stops the running of the program. And that's what I want to do when I, get, when I hit bad data. There's other ways to handle it, but this is the way I want to handle it here. So we use the try section of the code to determine, hey, is this an integer? And then we use the accept section of the code to alert the end user that something went wrong and to tell them specifically, this item is not a number, 100. The other place that I'm using a try and catch statement, or a try and accept, I apologize, catch statements are in other languages, it's the same thing. Try and accept, try and catch, it does the same thing, that's just a way you do it in another language which I've been working in. So the try and accept statement here, I've got my main method, I've got my file name which I've set to blood underscore sugar dot txt, and then I try opening the input file. Now if I give them a bad name for this, and run it, it will tell me could not find the file bloodsugar2.txt. So my try statement here is the whole program. I have to have everything tabbed in because everything is dependent on that file working. If it doesn't work, at the very end of the program, I have my accept statement with an IO, input output error, IO error, that prints could not the file find the file plus the file name. And the reason I did it this way, where I've got the file name as separate than I'm using file name for my input file, is just so I can give better feedback to my end user to let them know, hey, this is the file name you put in. Did you have a typo? You want them to see it. And then if they were to fix the error, it would work. So those are two really common errors that you're going to deal with when you're working with either files, at, at least for the, um, this one is going to be a real common file error. You should always check that for your input output error. And then value errors, really common, both working with files, but this is a really common error when you're getting input from the keyboard. And so this is something that you should be including in future programs.